Now what if I told you that most people are doing this in their golf swing when they should be doing this in their golf swing? And once you figure out how to do this, it's gonna immediately give you the correct feeling that you have in your wrist to shallow out the club, and shallowing is gonna be pretty daggone easy. So let's jump into it here. I want you to take this club, just your right hand, make it swing like a propeller blade in a circle like this. So imagine it being a Ferris wheel like straight up and down. And let's start with it going counterclockwise, so swinging in the counterclockwise direction. And this is what most players are doing wrong when they're doing this. Now the golf swing isn't gonna to be toward the target actually, it's gonna be inside out. Or if you can imagine that I'm turning this Ferris wheel from being straight toward the target to being about 45 degrees in this direction, that's where the golf swing's gonna be. And I'll get to that here in a second. I know it sounds crazy, but it's kind of eye-opening when you see it like this. So I'm just gonna let this swing in this counterclockwise direction, and this is what most players are doing. So if I imagine the bottom of the swing as being a dress, and as I let it loop this way, that's gonna be my takeaway. So most players tend to drag the club to the inside or let that loop in this direction in the backswing. And then, as they change direction, that club shaft wants to kick out and be steep, and we're coming over the top. So this type of emotion is what most people are feeling, whether they realize it or not. If you even pay attention to the right wrist, the right wrist bends back in the backswing, and it starts to flatten out in the downswing. And that's where that steep over the top move comes from, and that's why we struggle to get shallow we're doing this type of motion. Now, if you're a better player, you're probably not doing exactly that. You're probably going ahead and taking it somewhat straight on the backswing, but instead of letting it drop in and shallow, it's kind of staying that steeper angle here rather than letting it go the opposite direction. Now, let me explain here what I mean by this. If I'm going this way in this counterclockwise direction, if all I do is switch the direction that that is, this is what a good golf swing should feel like. So I'm letting this swing kind of 45 degrees out to the right. Now I'm imagining that this is the top of my backswing, and from here in this direction is coming down to impact. So the downswing is gonna be this motion right here, feeling like the club head drops completely behind my body. Now, if you got any sense at all, you're probably thinking, that's not gonna work. I'm gonna be hitting the ball 45 degrees out to the right. Well, if we take into account that my body is opening, as I do this shallowing type motion or this letting it drop behind me, completely behind my body, and I simply open my body at the same time like I would in a golf swing, you see how those two things pair up to shallow out the club and to square out the path. So the golf swing should feel like the club is dropping in behind you as you rotate open. That's what the shallowing is all about. And that's why so many players struggle with this because it's counterintuitive. We don't want this club dropping behind us. Imagine for a second that you didn't let this club drop behind you and you just kept it still and rotated your body. Well, if I went to the top of the swing and I didn't do any dropping behind me, I just held my hands in the same position while well, I'd be obviously way over the top if I let my body come open. So it's this feeling of from here, our brain is telling us go back down to the ball rather than go behind us. And when we go back down to the ball and we rotate, that's that steeper type motion. So let's get this fixed once and for all. And I wanna particularly pay attention to the right wrist as you're doing this. So start to swing the club in a circle. This time we're going clockwise. Turn that circle about 45 degrees out to the right as you're doing that. And then visualize this is the top of the swing, this is impact, and you wanna feel like this club is just dropping behind at a 45 degree angle the entire downswing. Now you'll notice when you do this, this right wrist naturally starts to lag behind. You start to get this knuckles to kinda of go back here, this shallows out the club, and that's the perfect right wrist position for the downswing. From there, just simply rotate through the shot, and you're gonna have a great feel of what the pros are doing when they're hitting you know, nice shallow drives or swinging with nice shallow uh, angle and hitting good solid drives. So let's do a few more of those. I'm gonna visualize like I'm going to the top of my backswing, normal backswing. So there's my top, I'm gonna let it drop this way the entire downswing and all I'm gonna add to that is the rotation. Let's give it a whirl. There we go, pretty good. First swing of the day, 314. Nice straight drive. I felt like there, again, I'm imagining this 45 degree drop behind me, and all I'm doing is rotating as that's happening. That's naturally gonna shallow out the club. Now there's one more piece of this I wanna mention. See, when I'm doing this swinging of the club, people are always asking me where you release the club. Now, 
when I bent this right wrist back, that's the shallowing, that's that lag coming from the inside. But where do I let this go? Well, if you let it swing on around, you'll notice that your wrist naturally gets flat about 45 degrees in front. So if I'm, if I'm turning this way and I'm swinging in a circle here, there's my lag shallow. And when I let the club release about 45, so this is straight up and down, 90 degrees up and down, 90 degrees this way, making an X, 45 degrees would be kind of pointing out in front. Well, that's what I call the straight line release, and that's where the club releases. So if I just make this swinging motion, you'll notice that the club naturally wants to release about that 45 degrees in front. So if I'm swinging here, if I visualize that 45 degrees out in front there, that's when everything releases to it. Now all I'm gonna do here is turn that back toward the target. So if I take a golf ball and I put it about five to six feet in front, four, six feet, anywhere around in there, about 45 degrees in front of my body, well as I'm rotating, this club is gonna release or my wrist is gonna get flat for the very first time as I'm pointing to that golf ball. So I'm letting this club drop behind me, I have this big wrist angle, and then I'm letting that wrist angle go in front of my body, that's the release point. So it's almost like you're swinging this club around in a circle, turning your body and letting it go toward this ball in front. Now that's what I call the straight line release in the Top Speed Golf system. And every single great player is gonna be doing that. So when I studied over 50 major winners, look at their slow motion swings, they were releasing the club for the very first time out in front of the golf ball. When you pair that up with what we just worked on today, it's gonna to make things a lot easier. So I'm gonna play a preview of my best straight line release video. All you need to do is click one of the cards that pops up on your screen here. You'll get instant access to that full video. If you don't see the card, don't worry. Go down to the link below in the description. You'll get instant access to it there. I can't wait to share with you the straight line release. You pair it up with what we did today, you're gonna to have a blast cranking some really good drives and that's gonna be shallow every single time. We're gonna get rid of that cast and that flip. You're gonna have a, a swing that looks like it's straight off the Pro Tour. So best of luck, and I'll see you in the straight line release. If you're struggling flipping, scooping the ball as you're coming through contact, maybe the ball rolls up the face and goes a little bit high in the air. Maybe you tend to hit it thin on the, the face and it, it has a lot of backspin on it, and it doesn't really penetrate through the wind. You don't have that good clean compression. This is really gonna help with that. So let's first start out without the club and let's simulate some forward shaft lean here. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up to the ball. As I'm at address, I'm a good full turn back. And as I come down, if I take the club and do the same thing, put a little inside my ball here, as I'm coming into the downswing, there's my palm down. And as I come into the release, this is nice and neutral. So I can feel that club releasing as I'm coming through contact there. That's what's gonna get me the speed. I'm gonna go ahead and do another, you know, 20, 30 repetitions with that. Then I'm gonna put both hands on and I'm gradually gonna build this up until I can feel forward shaft lean, but still releasing at my straight line release point. A couple